Hi everyone, this is VK. Welcome to Smid World. Here I am with another video. In this video, we will see how to do kill and alignment, reasons for kill and alignment, prevent from the following causes hot bearings, high wear on supporting roller, tire and truss rollers, welding cracks on top bone and uh, axial retainer, crack and cracks on the supporting roller shafts, clean shell quality, lining losses, etc. Hot clean alignment. Hot clean alignment can be effective means of uh, preventive maintenance. Any of the many methods available is uh, preferential to doing nothing at all until damage occurs. You can see here, hot kiln alignment, find target points, tires and rollers, measure tire roller diameter, find basis center lines, find the center lines, calculate corrective moves. Kiln alignment steps. Locate the coordinates of the shell rotating center on all fires using laser based technology. Determine the kiln axis misalignment by calculating the perpendicular interact between the rotating center at each fire and kiln axis. Measure the shell ovality on all fires. Adjust all supporting rollers to strengthen the kiln axis. Uh, the priority is to adjust pair load uh, distribution in a manner that optimizes shell ovality means uh, without exceeding limits on bearing pressures. Measuring and lower all bearing thrust collar pressures on uh, LS kilns and uh, bearing end cap pressures on roller and AC kilns. Adjust all bearings are necessary to align all support rollers parallel to the Kiln rotating axis to within 0 0.005 inches per foot. Measure the horizontal tire movement all pairs to detect and uh, quantify the effects of uh, dog leg conditions that may adversely affect kiln stability. Determine if support rollers slope changes are necessary to align the plane of the tire perpendicular to the kiln axis. This procedure eliminates the high stop block pressures. Make recommendations regarding the need to shim or replace tire support pads if the shell volatilities are high due to excessive tire clearance. Inspect all kiln components. Make prioritized repair recommendations to improve kiln mechanical performance. Improves and uh, ensures kiln availability by optimization of uh, kiln axis, kiln shell ovality, axial balance, kiln crack. Symptoms and root causes. Three tire kiln center axis, hot kiln alignment. Survey the kiln to determine the center lines of each tire while the kiln is in operation. The goal of the survey is to determine the pair to pair location of each tire center line axis and to bring this axis into a straight line to provide mechanical stability of uh, all kiln components. Measure and determine the kiln shell ovality at each tire station to determine load conditions while the kiln is in operation. Determine shell deformation in the form of uh, dog leg conditions. Determine the gut gear and pinion gear operating conditions. 
Adjust support rollers to provide a straight kiln shell axis. Minimize the axial thrust of the kiln on the thrust roller and minimize the individual thrust of each support roller bearing. A complete mechanical inspection of girth gear is to pinion gear mesh. Condition of bearings, condition of bases, condition of uh, weld on the shell, support pads and retainers, condition of the wear on tire and uh, roller sur surfaces, condition of seals, condition of the flange bolts, splice bolts on uh, flange mounted gears, condition of the pins, splice bolts and wells on a tangents, spring plate mounted gears, condition of any other mechanical components that might apply. Hot kiln alignment. Blue matching for uh, bearing and shaft. A typical and fully acceptable contact with a contact width of the approximately 10 to 15 percent of the bearing diameter. Still in this position, that means uh, with the bearing liner or uh, ball socket assembly resting upon the journal, a filler gauge of the thickness as uh, indicated in the table. As far as possible, along the along the L1, L2 perimeter into the incoming part of the lubrication clearances and the depth of the intersection measured. Blue matching for bearing and shaft. Supporting roller bearings uh, type RKB bearing clearances. Here you can see bearing size according to that how much clearance will be S1234 mean clearances cold type. Fueler gauge insertion depth. Reasons for support roller adjustment. Support roller adjustments to control axial thrust. Support roller adjustments to correct the alignment of the unit. Support roller adjustments to raise the gear out of the pinion. Support rollers adjust relieve, relieve hot bearing conditions or to relieve thrust on individual bearings.
this will make it necessary to adjust the support rollers or uh, pronions to relieve the axial thrust of the unit against the downhill or discharge end thrust roller. This is the thumb rule. Making moves on support rollers, use small moves no greater than 0 0.005 inches per move on each bearing. To maintain alignment, it is best to move on one bearing in and the other bearing out on the roller. Have indicators on both bearings and take significant breaks between moves to allow the kiln to react to the moves. When the moving housing out, always make sure adjusting screws are tight again as the housing when finished making the moves. On hot bearings, try cooling and bearing down and check for score on damaged softs or bearings. Always adjust the rollers to relieve individual thrust on bearings and relieve kiln thrust. Support roller adjustments to control axial thrust. Most common reasons for adjusting support rollers on a kiln or a tire. It is best practice to keep light thrust on the downhill thrust roller to minimize power adjustment to the roller. By, keep, by keeping lighter thrust on the downhill thrust roller, the thrust roller will not wear excessively. This is an important factor to keeping full contact on the gear on the face of the pinion. How wear develops. The first step in understanding how wear develops on the surface of ties and support rollers is to investigate the principles of adjusting support rollers to control the axial thrust of the kiln. In two tire kiln alignment to be done in such a way that 70% of the axial load to be shared by kiln supporting rollers and balance 30% by hydraulic thrust device. 